Who is this? Frog's Master. Wait a minute, what was that guy named again? Frog's Master. Is this actually the one and only true? Frog's Master? It is I, Frog's Master. Why, hello everyone, this is Frog's Master. You know, the real question is, what's the most underrated frogs? Is it orange? I like to move it. What about evil ways? Any of the ones over there? That one? That one? These? Well, no. And yeah, it's not this extremely common one over here because he's not the most underrated. Come on now. You know these things. At least you know things with him. And no, it's not Jump. Or Yellow on the Road again, or, or any of these. It's none of them. Not even Blue Jump Around over there, no. The most underrated frog, z, of course, not frog, because that'd be a little weird, right? <laughs> okay, look, all seriousness though. The most underrated frogs Of course it's him. In the club. Really, any in the club, to be honest. Look, something that I know for a fact that is put out about this guy is that he's not that cool. Oh, it's in the club. Uh, in the club, frogs. Boring. Ugh. Not new. Ugh. Don't care for it. Ugh. And you know, maybe some genuinely don't care for it. But here's the thing. If that thing right there was one of the rarest frogs, you know people would not be calling it boring or uninteresting or bad anything they'd be praising it like heck just like everyone does with all the other super rare frogs push it frogs everyone praises it whip it frogs particularly the blue one everyone praises it i mean this can be said for all of them my sharona Good vibrations. I don't know why I can't think of others right now, but you know, all those other rare ones, you know, even ones that have not even been released, all the prototypes, everyone loves them. The Canadian ones, everyone loves them. In the club, is the most common frogs, and he always will be. That is something that will never change. Sure, maybe other frogs that are not quite as common as him, they might get a little more common or a little more rare. He will always be the most common. And honestly, all of his counterparts, they're gonna be just about as common too. I suppose with this, with these NFL ones, that's a bit different, but Look, the reason why Indie Club Frogs gets the treatment that he does is, of course, because of how common he is. And some probably realize that already, but if you didn't, well, you can realize it now. Because we know he's super common. He's always on eBay. There's always about 20-something of them on. It's not a joke. There's pretty much always... 20 of them or over that no matter what he has never not been on ebay he's, he's never not been on that's it period he has always been on and look for the for the things that are said about him it's just no it's not something that needs to be heard
I know people have their opinions, but look, when you really look at in the club, I guess particularly just the ones that look like this, not really the NFL ones. Well, let's just start with the NFL ones first, actually. Sure, maybe there's not too much to them, but they did a different shade of green, right? And they did all the teams. And it looks nice there. That looks nicely put on the hat. And same thing for the shirt. I know it's simple, but it's just NFL frogs, you know? And sure, they could have done some different songs, but for 32 frogs, all those different songs, yeah, I don't know. Here's the thing. In the club, in these, it fits well. It fits very well with NFL. You can't tell me it doesn't. It does. It fits pretty good. It sounds right. Would jump around sound good with this? NFL jump around? No. And certainly not any song that isn't hip-hop. Of course, there's the Steelers song, which works with the Steelers frog. But, uh, yeah, that wouldn't work with any of the other ones. And, you know, I don't know for sure if there's songs for all the other NFL teams. I'm sure there is. I'm, I don't know too much about sports or anything like that. But that would probably cost a lot of money. And I'm sure Jemmy would have not been able to actually use all of, all of those songs for all the teams. So, you know, this works. And it's the same mechanism but these actually don't have that cheaper mechanism that the holiday frogs have. These have the better ones. So look, there's already that about these that are just good, you know? It's not like these NFL frogs are, like, noticeably worse than any of those. But look, we need to talk about these now, okay? Here's the thing. The In The Club Frogs has a lot more detail than any of the other frogs. Don't believe me? Okay, fine. Five o'clock somewhere. Okay, he's got some pants, shorts, he's got the guitar. All right. All right. A, a few things. Uh, I can try 55. Well, there's that shirt with a couple colors. There's the steering wheel and the helmet. All right, let's look at this one. All right, we've got a hat, little jewel in the hat, guitar, shirt, a couple colors again. All right, well, that's it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, the baby one more time. That's got... It's got some stuff on it, but, you know, it's all the very same kind of color scheme to it. Uh, well, we know all those holiday ones aren't quite as, you know, they look nice, but materials aren't necessarily as good. And there's the mechanisms and all that. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the Valentine's one back there. It's got the dress and the hair and, well, you know... All those other things that other frogs have. Look, it's the jump frogs with the shirt and the hat. And, oh, well, uh, no scrubs. I mean, got some some shorts that are like baggy looking. That's interesting, right? And the lipstick and the bra and the hair and the... It's, it's got eyeliner. Save words, ride a cowboy. Has stuff. You see, look, in the club, glasses, tinted glasses, hat, stylish hat, what they add back here. Oh, look at that. It's like, kind of like a stylish too. 
Okay. Oh, look. Frog's logo. Oh, look. It looks very nice on there. Uh, oh, top of the shirt. We got some, some lines there. Oh, we got a white shirt. Oh, we got a necklace here. Oh, we got a ring. Oh, look. That spells out frogs. Oh, look. Zipper. Thingy. Oh, purple matches very nicely with this look. Oh, it's quite a bit of detail. And then these fuzzy ones, they also have this bracelet. All the rest is the same, but there's a bracelet added, so yeah, look, more detail. Now, two other frogs were made pretty much around the same time as in the club. And those two actually have a lot of detail as well, which would make sense. Ride with me. You see how there's more detail. Got the ring. He's holding that staff. Three necklaces, pretty much. And then the royalty thing there. A uh, very shiny shirt with a little more of a design. Frog's logo on his hat, I guess you could call it braids of hair, and then a different kind of hair back there, you see. So Ride With Me was released with in the club, but then it got crazy in love. I don't have it now, but you know that one has a lot of detail too. And, you know, this is Fuzzy Ride With Me here. He's supposed to have a bracelet. This one doesn't have it, but, you know... Oh, yeah, he's got that too. The shiny ride with me. Well, the Canadian ones, uh, they actually still, uh, they still have the bracelets on them. I don't think they have that though. But the fuzzy ones do. Yeah, they even switched the back of the hair. But fuzzy crazy in love. The original, you know, that one has an extra ring. So you, you notice that with the fuzzy versions of these first three frogs, they have a little bit of extra stuff on them that the shinies don't. Because, you know, about the early start of the frogs, they were going to be, you know, standing with a lot of detail. Well, then they had to go smaller, but the first few, they still had the more detail. And as they went on, they would get less detail. You see, this is all adding up. It's all making sense. Detail is good on products. Always. Why wouldn't it be? Detail is a good thing. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Unless if it was... Meant to not have detail. I don't know what that would be. Anyway. Come on. He is criminally underrated. You know it. And it's all just because of how common he is that he gets this treatment. He shouldn't get looked as boring. I know you always see him, and that might change your thoughts. And it will change your outlook on these but you know they have more detail. You know that they were meant or better when you compare them to the other frogs. And the other frogs are still definitely good. But you know these have more detail. I've shown you. It's very obvious. And this video is long. The shiny and the clubs pretty much have all the same thing. It's just that they don't have the bracelets. So it's pretty much every in the club. Maybe the NFL ones don't have as much, but they were later on. But at least those NFL and the clubs still had some nice touches. And they got that different shade of green. 
which would make it a little more unique than other frogs that have that normal green to them. Yeah. Well, that's that. You know it all now. Oh, well, that's it. Would you really still say that in the club is the worst frogs? Really? Because think about the song, too. You already know what the song sounds like, and I know you can't tell me that that's the worst cover that's been used in a frog's. I doubt anyone would agree with that. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I didn't talk about how about how um um about how they chose the best colors for these two and then that's all three of them all the best colors they could have chosen and i didn't talk about how the movements fit perfectly with the song like a hundred percent perfectly or how that the mechanisms in these are pretty good and they still i would say hold up the good enough and how oh i don't know like the fact that a wire won't come off in here maybe in the head but not in there because, you know, Jemmy did it good. Yeah, I didn't go into that. Oh, and also how it won't get annoying because it's a catchy song. And how it's funny. Oh, one more thing that I didn't say that I don't need to get into. I mean, it was the most successful frogs. There's so many videos of this one and this one and even the NFL ones. You always see them on YouTube when you look up frogs, especially when they were out, all the videos up in the club. Because when this frog was originally released, in the club was still a modern song, only two years old. That was a great decision to use that song, wasn't it? He was known as a cool thing back then. He should still be known as cool now. People say this is the worst frogs. The In The Club frogs is criminally underrated. Peace.